Hey guys! In this video, I'll be going over a few Shopify website hacks that many new sellers overlook, but that can really help optimize your online store experience for your customers. These simple updates can help improve how your products are presented, make your website feel more professional, and even increase your average order amount. Before we hop in, I have some free web guides that you guys can use for if you'd like some additional Shopify walkthroughs. I created these to give you guys walkthroughs of the commonly asked about Shopify customizations and detailed sections you can add to your website. They'll be in the description box. One great way to boost your average order value is by featuring a bonus or supporting product directly on your product page. This could be a complimentary item that naturally goes along with what customers are already shopping for. This type of cross-selling not only makes your website feel more curated and helpful, but it also gives customers easy access to other products they might love without them having to leave the page they're on. To set this up, start by opening your Shopify admin dashboard. On the left-hand menu, click Online Store, and then click Themes. From there, click Customize next to your currently published theme. Once the theme editor opens, you'll want to navigate to one of your product pages so you can edit the layout for all of your product pages at once. You can do that by clicking the drop-down menu at the top of the screen that says Home Page. When you're viewing your product page inside the editor, scroll down toward the bottom of the page layout until you see the footer section. Right above the footer, you should see a button that says Add Section. Click that, and a list of different section options will appear on the left-hand side of your screen. From this list, look for the option labeled Featured Product. Select that option to insert it into your page. Once the section has been added, you'll now see a preview of a product placeholder. On the left-hand panel, you can click Select Product to choose which item from your store you'd like to feature. After selecting the product, scroll through the customization options available for this section. You can usually adjust the image size, the text alignment, and even how many product details you want to show. You might also see options to control spacing above and below the section, which helps it blend naturally with the rest of your product page design. If your Shopify theme supports additional visual adjustments, you can also experiment with different layout settings. Once you've saved, preview one of your product pages on your live website. You should now see that featured product displayed near the bottom of your product page, right above the footer. Over time, this small addition can lead to more items being added to the cart, especially when the featured products complement what your customers are already shopping for. Also, if you do have a cosmetic or skincare business and you like this Shopify theme that you see here, this is one of my Shopify themes, which I'm gonna link in the description box below. I have a variety of Shopify themes for makeup and cosmetic businesses. It can help you to save hours of time from creating your website entirely from scratch, especially if you're unfamiliar with Shopify and with the process of setting up your website. The Shopify theme is a digital file that arrives in a zip file, and inside your Shopify dashboard, you can install the theme into your store and customize it or make any changes. Each of my theme bundle includes an installation guide to guide you through the theme setup process. These can help to give your brand a professional, branded look without you needing to code or have tech experience. My themes will be linked in the description box below. Another helpful customization is adding a featured collection section directly to your cart page. This tip is especially useful for encouraging customers to continue browsing before they check out. When someone adds an item to their cart, they're already showing strong purchase intent, so it's the perfect time to introduce them to a few more products that might interest them. To set this up, open your Shopify admin and go back to Online Store, then Themes, and click Customize again next to your published theme. Once you're inside the theme editor, click Cart. Once your cart page is open in the editor, scroll down toward the bottom of the page layout until you see the footer. Right above the footer area, click Add Section. From the list of available section types, choose Featured Collection. This will add a section where you can display several products from a specific collection on your site. In the left-hand panel, click Select Collection and choose a collection that makes sense to feature here. Many store owners like to feature a Best Sellers or Recommended Products collection on the cart page. Once you've selected the collection, scroll through the customization options to adjust how the section looks. Depending on your theme, you can typically adjust the number of products shown per row, the number of total rows displayed, and how much spacing appears between items. You'll also want to look for an option to enable quick add buttons or add to cart buttons. 
These buttons allow customers to add another item directly to their cart without leaving the cart page they're on. Adjust spacing or color schemes as needed to keep the design consistent with your brand. Once you're satisfied, click save in the top right corner. Another helpful way to improve how your Shopify store performs and how customers interact with your website is by adding detailed tags to your products. They make it easier for your customers to find what they're looking for once they're already browsing your site, and they also help you stay more organized behind the scenes as you build collections or set up automations. To add detailed tags to your products, start by opening your Shopify admin dashboard. On the left-hand side, click Products. This will take you to your full product list. From here, you can either search for a specific product using the search bar at the top or simply scroll through your product list and click on the one you'd like to update. Once the product page opens, you'll see all of your product details, including the title, description, media, pricing, and inventory settings. On the right-hand side of the screen, you'll notice a sidebar. Locate the tag section within that sidebar. This is where you'll be able to enter the keywords and descriptive phrases that apply to your product. Once you've added your tags, you can scroll back up or down the page to review your product details. And when you're done, click the save button in the top right corner of the screen. By the way, I know a lot of you guys are brand new to Shopify and the platform can feel a bit overwhelming. I created a Shopify beginners training to guide you step-by-step -step through the setup process. It walks you through navigating the dashboard, setting up payments, shipping, and taxes, and also creating your products pages and menus. You'll also learn about launch prep Shopify apps and some store marketing methods. Plus, I included a 30-page digital planner to keep your store's backend organized so that you have everything you need in one place to launch your Shopify store. The link to the training is in the description box below. Once you get into the habit of tagging your products thoroughly, it becomes much easier to maintain organization and create a more seamless customer experience. Detailed tags help customers find products faster, improve your site's search and navigation, and give you more control over how your products are grouped and displayed. By using tags thoughtfully, you're essentially giving Shopify the information it needs to connect your customers with exactly what they're looking for. It's one of the simplest yet most useful tools available within Shopify's product editor, and it can make your store's navigation feel more natural and user-friendly. Thank you so much for watching this video. My Shopify beginner kit will be linked in the description box below for if you'd like a complete organized walkthrough of the Shopify platform, along with a link for where you can grab the Shopify theme shown in this video. I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify themes designed for many different types of business niches. The link for where you can check those out will be in the description box as well.